So another problem we have with this 98C70 is the headlight wiper. As you can see, the right side one, passenger side one, is parked. But the driver side one was parked, and it attempted to move, and now it won't move. The other thing I notice is that the washer on the front headlights doesn't work either. So from looking at the schematic, both the right, right side passenger side and the left side driver side, wiper and washer circuit are all tied together. So when you use the windshield wiper washer on the front, it actually turns the wiper on on the headlight and the headlight washer if you have the headlights on. The headlights are on now, so when I use this, and it's going to spray at me, you can see the right side headlight wipes, but the left side does nothing. So let's have a look at the schematic. So here, here you can see the headlight washer wiper circuit. So there's the left wiper motor. It appears to be power side controlled. Has a ground, oh, it has continuous power for the park switch inside. So the right side works. So that eliminates the power feed, but the washer pump doesn't run. There's no washer action in the front. I don't even know where the washer pump is. Usually it's in the windshield washer jar. So I have an assistant in the vehicle and I was looking at this wiper on the right side and I see washer fluid here below the right headlight. So I'm going to see if it comes out of that little T fitting or whatever. Maybe the hose is broken off of here. Okay, go ahead. Yes, there you go. So that's why that's not washing because the hose is busted off. I don't know where the hose is. There it is there. So it must run inside the hood here. Yeah, it's inside here. Here it is. It's inside here, but there it is there. So this is broken off. Oh no, that goes in. Well, why is it coming out there? There's a, it goes through this T here. This goes to the right headlight, that goes to the left headlight. That, let's try plugging it with my finger. Okay, try again. Again. Yeah, washing the headlight now. This side's not doing anything. Try one more time. Well, the nozzle may be plugged or something. It should be coming out of out of here, and it's not. I'm plugging this little hole on the end of this T here. I don't know why there's a hole in there. Maybe there's a diaphragm in there, a check valve or something. Try again. Yeah, there it goes. Just had to fill the line. One more time. Okay, so I don't know what that T is, but it should not be leaking out the end of that. There might be a check valve in there to stop it from siphoning back or something. As you can see, this wiper works, but this one does nothing. So let's, let's try operating by hand with system. Okay, go ahead. No, I don't know where the wiper motor is. We'll have a look. So on the schematic to the left headlight motor, it shows a yellow violet, a yellow white, and a black wire, a three wire plug. I think I've located that. I'm going to check to see if I have an OE version of this diagram. Electrical diagrams, wipers, washer system, headlight wiper, headlight wiper motor. Hmm. Headlight wiper wash function diagram washer. Okay, I'm going to look at this. So here's the OE diagram on the all data information system, and everything is coded. So this is either the left or right wiper motor. I think I found the connector on the vehicle. So just above the headlight on the left side here is a three wire connector, and it has a red 
yellow wire and a yellow wire and a black wire so one of those wires should be live all the time with the key on and the other one should be pulse voltage to turn the wipers on and of course the third one should be ground since the other side is working and the washer pump is actually working that pretty much eliminates the power fuse and the control switches and everything we're looking at power and ground to this wiper motor so with the connector disconnected and the key on this middle wire has power the third wire down which is on this side should be ground so I'm going to connect my test light to power supply and see if it lights to indicate we have a ground okay and now I'll go back to this top wire here and put a test terminal in there and see if it lights that test terminal when we use the wash function my test light connected and I'm going to use the wash function and you can see it it lights the test light so the problems in the motor itself the motor has, have, has to have failed I'm not sure what's involved in changing the motor but this wiring harness here goes right down into the wiper motor on the headlight so we'll discuss the repairs with the customer and see if he wants to uh, explore it further I'm going to see what parts are available so I think I found that uh, headlight washer T connector I think it's a check valve to stop it from siphoning being as how that the uh, wiper blades are quite low to the front it might siphon out especially at high speeds with airflow across the nozzles so there's the part number 9178896 uh, back ordered no ETA but at least I got a part number but I'm looking for the headlight wiper motor and so far I haven't been able to find it wiper arm wiper blade I found a used all kinds of right side used ones but not any left side ones yet so I managed to find part numbers for the T connector the T connector with that uh, for the washer fluid line is 9178896 the left headlight wiper motor is 8628278 and the right wiper motor is 8628288 now that part number might change up to a 9178871 and I'm not sure if it's even available still but we're going to leave it at that the customer is going to consider the repairs uh, I found a Volvo dealer in southern Ontario that said they could sell one for 278 Canadian. But I'm not sure that uh, it's even available. I haven't talked to them. So that's it for now.